I am shocked. It is the end of an era. The Premier League for Liverpool Football Club, this affects every club in the Premier League. Jurgen Klopp has just announced that he is leaving Liverpool Football Club at the end of the season. And with the message to the Liverpool fans via Twitter, let me show you guys the video. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, Jürgen, we're here because you have an important message to deliver to our supporters. Would you like to tell them what that is? Ah, uh, yeah, I have to. Um, I will leave the club at the end of the season. I can understand that it's uh, a shock for a lot of people in this moment when you hear it the first time. And um, But obviously I can explain it, or at least try to explain it. Um, and I, I love absolutely everything about this club. I love everything about the city. I love everything about our supporters. I love the team, I love the staff, I love everything. That I still take this decision probably will or shows you that I'm convinced it's the one I have to take. Um, it is that I'm, what can I say, that I'm running out of energy. Um, I have no problem now, obviously, I think I, I, I know it already for, for longer uh, that I will have to announce that at one point. But um, I'm absolutely fine now. But I um, know that I cannot do the job again and again and again and again. And after all the years we had together and after all the time we spent together and after all the things we went through together, um, the respect grew for you, the love grew for you, and the least thing I owe you is the truth. And that's the truth. Wow. 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 What a message. And to Liverpool fans today, to the Premier League fans, to just everybody, what a huge loss for Liverpool Football Club in the sense that Jurgen Klopp will now be leaving and what a legacy he leaves at that club won the Premier League, won the Champions League, won the FA Cup, won the League Cup, finished in the in the League Cup runner-up. He was in the Champions League runner-up twice, went to three Champions League finals, won the Super Cup, won the Club World Cup, went to a, a Europa League final and lost in his first season. Guys, what do you think? Let me know. Because to me, I just got to give him a lot of credit for what the job Jurgen Klopp has done at Liverpool. He's been a great success as a manager and he leaves Liverpool as a Premier League legend. And the job's not done. He could win the, the, the Europa League this season. He could win the Carabao Cup and I want him to win. He's in the final versus Chelsea. This could strive and push the players on and motivate them to win more trophies for this manager. And the other question is, who's going to be the next manager after them? Who's going to go and take the job after Jurgen Klopp? To me, I think there's only one straightforward candidate. The man who's currently doing a fantastic job at Bayer Leverkusen. The man who formerly played for Liverpool and was a great midfielder for them, Xabi Alonso. I could already see it. They must already have something in the works with Xabi Alonso. If I was to predict who Liverpool's next manager would be, I think the only right answer would be Shabby Alonso. But let me know what you guys think. Who do you think Liverpool's next manager is going to be on this question? And could this now push Liverpool on to win more and more and more and more major trophies? And just how shocked are you that the club has decided to subsequently leave Liverpool at the end of the season? Are you, are you surprised? because I'm quite surprised. Maybe I'm more surprised by the announcement. Eventually, he was going to leave. All things come to an end, but sometimes they come to an end somewhat negatively, where the team is in a mess and the manager leaves because he had to be forced out. But in this situation, they seem to be leaving in a good way. 
they seem to be leaving on a high. And potentially, if he can go and win, dare I say it, they could be leaving in a glorious fashion. Potentially still winning, uh, potentially could still win the Premier League and currently top of the league. Potentially still could win the Europa League and are favourites to win the Europa League. Potentially could win a domestic double. I'm lost for words. Liverpool fans right now are probably waking up saying, excuse me? Saying, what has just happened? But we also have to take in what Jurgen Klopp said in the video. He said he's out of energy. It is a very taxing job to be a manager, especially in the Premier League, especially for a club the size of Liverpool. So I get it. Wow. I leave you guys with this. What do you think is now going to happen with this bombshell news? Are Liverpool now going to go on and push on, keep this nasty winning streak going and, and go blitz the league and win all these trophies? Or do you think this is dangerous for Liverpool and they may now have a situation where after this season, they're going to be sitting in, in no man's land where they don't know what's happening? I'm quite concerned because we have them at the Emirates very soon. And it's, it's, they're going to be so motivated to play us at the Emirates that game. It's going to be crazy. But yeah, once again, I already think Xabi Alonso has the job lined up. I think this whole situation, Liverpool are a very well-run club and they probably already know who they're going to hire and bring in. As long as it's not Steven Gerrard, you Liverpool fans are probably going to be happy because he currently has a job with with his club in, in, in Saudi and he just got an extension. But with this crazy bombshell news, I have to ask you guys a question. What's next for Liverpool? What's next for the Premier League? And are you just as shocked as I am that this is an end of an era? For Liverpool Football Club. I just can't wait for Pep to leave. When are you leaving? <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here, people. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you guys subscribe to the channel. And of course, don't forget the link to the title sponsor, Sofa Score, is in the description. Always remember that Sofa Score is the best football app to use out there. And you can check it out right now. Link is in the description. Let's get this show started. Uh, let's get let's get the show to an end. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. Mm -hmm.